Hello and welcome to Wake and Jake, the night before baseball and all through the mouse. It's Jolly Olive and me in D- BBD in a blouse. Uh, that's just off the top, people. <laughs> baseball is back. Games that count rapping. tomorrow. I guess we did the Korean games. Split, whatever. Kind of doesn't matter. Did they just leave Ipe over there? We're not doing any Otani today. Where is Ipe? We're not doing any of that today. Uh, and we're not doing a tier list either. Uh, unfollow, unsubscribe. I'm here for Jolly and the tier list. Uh, I want to talk some ball because we've been through a lot of tier lists. The, the last thing that would have been left would have been uh, starting pitcher. We talked about, you know, do you do rotation? Do you do opening day? Bench coach. Do you do true ace? All of them felt a little messy that I just want to talk ball with the fellas. So let's talk some ball. Uh, And, hey, we're not shy of the click. We're going to do some World Series predictions, what we're actually thinking of. I actually haven't put pen to paper on that yet. I'm excited to. And there's been a lot of action in the past couple days. Jordan Montgomery. Uh, The Boris Four just went to the NL West. Yeah. Why not? Well, Uh, let's include J.D. Martinez. Okay. Boris Five. Okay, comeback player of the year, J.D. Excellent. Martinez. Good last year. Uh, and Belly's we're still central. We're going to do some award stuff, and f- it's always the, not the twist, but in a way the twist. What makes it a little different? Although, I have to admit, I'm still a little, I grew up on SportsCenter. You give me some preseason predictions, I want to know them. Let's put a little pen to paper. If you get it wrong, it means nothing. <laughs> like, sports happen. Yeah. The Cardinals were the clear favorite to win the Central last year. They were awful. The Mets were supposed to complete with, compete with the Braves. Bad. Yankees were supposed to win the East. Bad. Were they? Anyways. Uh, Yankees so told me that. I want to go through some of the top awards, and the way I, I decided to chop it up was do who we think is going to win. If we had to put uh, our dog's life on the line, our significant Whoa. other's. Jolly just crossed the four-year threshold. Did I see that the other day? So you saw it, but didn't like the Did post? not like it, no. <laughs> bad I don't guy. Like I don't it. like bad that. Guy, I bad guy, don't support friend. that. Put a ring on it, bad dude. Bad boss. Soft. Mainly. Don't just, oh, here's an Insta post. Let's get, you know, I've My seen those. My mom asked me the other day. She was like, you thinking about it? I was like, mom. <laughs> I've seen those Jolly Olive views. I don't tell. You know, three years, three years salary. Get a ring. <laughs> BBD is new on the gram. Enough love. Quit love, waffling. Love is out. Boring. Baseball's in. Uh, if you had to bet your loved one's life, <laughs> who you would pick, uh, you know, for the big ones, MVP, mm. Cy. Mm. Uh, Jolly's going to tell you about Rookie of the Year. I'm I'm a little out on it. There's old guys. Just because Too like, many Yamamoto's olds. a pro. <laughs> Stop. But he got lit up, and she's beautiful. Um so we'll do some of that, and I want to do the, hey, if you were, you know, if the big wig execs called you and said, hey, we needed a hot take out there, but it's something you kind of believe in. It's a, it's a take you support, but if you were trying to be different, if you didn't have UConn winning your bracket, you know, they're going to, but, you know, ooh, I like the way Creighton looks. Get that out of my face. But <laughs> might get more views because everyone's got the Husky Dogs. Uh, so with that... Jolly, how are you? Are you excited for your Metropolitans? What an opening monologue by you. I think we tackled different sports, different walks of really life, nice. relationships. And we won't be bad, but we might not be good. 81 and 81. I'm good. Uh, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. I've been, uh, I did Shea Station earlier this morning. Mm. So I did some Mets talk with my good friend Jerry Blevins. Uh, I don't know if you've mentioned your new big TV, but it is yeah. fucking me up every time I look Uh-oh. at it. And it makes me feel inferior because I still have the small TV. I wonder how Jimmy feels about it. Uh, I'm ready to make my picks. I don't know if I'd put what you referenced on the line. Maybe I'd put, like, my lunch on the line or something and just go hungry. But Is BBD about to pass in us? He's got a look of panic on his face. I hadn't seen this yet, and I don't know when you would have seen this yet, Jake, because we've been doing kind of the same stuff for a while. Jolly, you might have seen it because you've been able to be on Twitter. But now we're going, I'm seeing Yankees. We're in a Montgomery uh, oh yeah, but their deferrals, said heavy yeah. deferrals, fifteen to twenty years, crazy. And deferrals like, are oh, in. Okay, they're popular. Deferrals are in, especially if you're into the CBA tax. I grew, I grew up on deferrals being the worst thing you could do for right. every party. Well, and now money's money. Money talks, so talk mo bucks. Jolly Olive. Uh, 
Let's start with Cy Young. You know, we want to lead the people through the aisles of the grocery store to get to the milk. To get that reference. Um, so, I know you have done some content around this. You're a known Cy Young so picker guy. And you. As am I. And you. Uh, BBD won the Cy Young draft last year, so maybe we're just Cy Close Young second. experts. Uh, so, Jolly, I will lay that out for you. If you had to pick... Your Cy Young winners. And then if you had to get clicky, where are you going? So first, let me ask you where you want to go first, NL or AL. Let's go to uh, the Big Brother League. Let's go American League. Okay. Well, NL's getting all the free agents, just yeah. so you know. Um, like AL's the junior circuit. Yeah. So my video this year, my Dark Horse video, was on Freddie Peralta. Uh, I think I'm not going to pick him as my clicky or okay. whatever, like, you know, quirky pick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just because, you know, I did 15 minutes on him. If you're curious why I did, go check out the video. You might sure. like it. Um, big thing for me is I like looking at guys who didn't get a full sample last year, and I like looking at guys that had good FIPS because I think that's mm. a thing that translates well over a full 162, especially if you got 20 starts instead of 30 starts, that kind of thing. I also like going with guys that I kind of know. So I'm going to stray from that for a second, and I want to talk a little bit about my guy follows me on Twitter oh. and Instagram, so I am biased for him, and just got some money, so I'm happy for him. I want to talk about Mitch Keller. Okay. I think Mitch Keller of the Pirates has an interesting claim. I think he's climbing in odds rankings, which is good for him. Just had his first 200 strikeout season. And for him, uh, it was kind of a tale of a lot of the guys that are young and throwing hard. He uh, His fastball didn't have a lot of shape. It was getting hit around a lot, but he kind of had all the tools that you want out of a good starting pitcher. He had good extension, good height. He could throw the ball hard and kind of had these secondary pitches developing. It, he just needed a season where he needed to put it all together. And I think that really was last year. Uh, if I recall correctly, he had like Cy Young caliber numbers and then just had a tough last like two months of the season or so. Yeah, let's see. Let's do his first 19 starts of last year, which takes us basically to the all-star break. Uh, a 3.31 ERA in 117 innings mm. and was punching plenty of tickets along the way. Uh, if Keller can kind of stick the landing this year for a Pirates team that I think we're all a little bit excited for, but like cautiously because the NL right. Central is weird, uh, then I think he has a legitimate case to be, you know, top five pitcher in the National League. The National League we saw last year was a little bit wide open, even like at the end, like Justin Steele was the guy until, you know, like three weeks out from the season and then it became Snell. Uh, Zach Gallon always has a case as well. And I think Mitch Keller has an interesting case. So if I was trying to get some eyes on the graphic for my pick, I think Mitch Keller would be my guy. And everyone always says pirates for clicks. So of course. understand why you go there. Best uniforms. Keller's fun. I mean, the innings are there. We'd, we'd need the, the performance to tick up a little bit. It would be a fun storyline if the pirates were a little more in on the juice this year. Oh, um, you didn't, like, you didn't like that? No. Oh. Um, now, NL's tricky because Spencer Strider, of all the Cy Young candidates, his odds are easily the best. Yeah. And then it's everyone else starts in a different world. So we'll keep it NL for now. Um, and I, I did take him in the NL draft. Mitch, Can Mitch Keller win the Cy Young? That becomes an interesting game a little bit. Like, in my heart of hearts, do I believe that? Um, Like, he threw 194 innings last year, 210 strikeouts. Okay, the past two years, he's been, it's been a four flat ERA, 408. Yeah. yeah. Does he have more in the tank? You know what? Let me do a, a quick pull up, right? So, the thing I think I, like I need about more high end potential. Well, you know what I'm saying? The year before, let's see. I want to refer to Sandy here, but it's a little bit different, I guess. Okay. Sandy had the innings You're going. Playing the Sandy card. A little huh? bit. 2019. Eh, whatever. Point oh. being, wide open field. I think he's not 30 yet. Like he's still got more in the tank, I think. He's a driveline guy, which I like. Sure. Um, and he's on an even plane odds wise with names like Joe Musgrove, Chris Sale, who's kind of a sexy pick this mm. year. Bobby Miller. So he's in that range right now, according to bet makers. I would I, I could believe it, but okay. he is my little, you know, he's my clicky pick. Who would be your if you had to bet real dollar? Four years of love. I would bet on Logan Webb. Yeah? I think this year's his year. Um 
finished, I believe, runner up last year. Yeah. But like kind of quietly. Yeah. Like just quietly so was very good the entire season through 216 innings. I think since the Corbin Burns win, which, by the way, we knew was going to happen in April, so you should have listened to us. Um, I think since that win, the voters have kind of been like, yeah, innings matter. Like, we probably should prioritize yeah. that a little bit more. I think Corbin had like 160 or something. And Logan Webb, he's not this dominant strikeout guy. He is, a, you know, a sinker baller, and that's where he gets his bread and butter. But he still struck out 194 batters last year because of his volume. So I think if he makes another 33 starts and he's as good as he was last year, um, the competition might thin out, man. I don't know. And he's also got some solid defense behind him in the infield, which I do like. Matt Chapman at third base now. That matters to me. Jung-Hoo Lee, we've heard, can play some good outfield defense. Um, So I really like his odds this year. Uh, I don't know what we're going to see from Strider, if it's going to be another year where he's Punching 14 tickets one start and then giving up three homers the next start. I don't really know, but one of these years it will be Strider. I just think it's not going to be this year. I don't know. Yeah, I I like that, and I, I think it's funny when you put Webb, you put Webb and uh, Keller side by side. There's some comparisons, but like Logan Webb's just been really good at it (laughs) like Mm. Mitch Keller the last two years has been a 104 105 ERA plus where Logan Webb has been uh 130s uh so yeah if there's more in the tank there the Matt Chapman card is a fun card to play uh and it's very real if you're a sinker baller uh like Logan Webb and people are you know there's some fade Gossman stuff out there um but yeah okay I I'm I got one last thing sure uh, similar reason why I liked Freddie for Logan Webb as well. Uh, a little bit of positive regression. Uh, he was sixth highest in home run to fly ball rate last year at 15.4%. I'm going to choose to believe that some of those fly balls stay in the park this year. Okay. And he regresses back to the mean. ERA goes down. Slugging just, against just goes down. Just naturally fewer will get out. Freddie was fourth. So that was part of the video as well. Yeah. It, it's going to be interesting to see with Spencer Strider. I, I'm, I'm with I'm with the books here um that Spencer Schreider if I had to put Noodle's life on the line he's the guy um which is scary and I don't want to Remember when Noodle was at the office? I sure do. That was a fun day. Might be seeing him Might soon. Be. Really? Um big day tomorrow. Spencer Schreider 2022, 131 innings. The strikeout numbers were crazy, and it was like, okay, can he, like, act? Is this real? He was basically throwing two pitches. Yeah. Um, He comes back last year, uh, wins 20 games, 20 and 5, so he probably is a Cy Young winner in 1994. Matters to me. Uh, Kyle Wright and him back-to-back in the (laughs) 90s. Uh, He threw 186 innings, 281 strikeouts. He led the league in FIP uh, and Ks per nine. He finished fourth in the Cy Young. Uh, he just, he did have a bad case of the, like, can get rocked. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see, has he learned from that? He went out and he had a dominant spring training, which again, I'm, I've been laughing the past couple weeks cause we've been actually looking at spring training stuff and it's just a full blown reminder. Can't never matter. Can't ever. Well put. You just can't. Um, I think Strider is just, a, he, the strikeouts are going to be there. He, Last year is his first time throwing that full workload, and maybe that's your fade. Maybe mm. you could be like, hey, maybe he doesn't have that in the tank. Um, but I, I think he's the safest one. In, in the NL, if I had to go get the click. Need that click. Need that click. Uh, hmm. There's, there's a couple fun ones that stand out to me. I, I think... I won't give two. I got to pick one. You got to pick one. I'll just go odds on it. Um, uh, no, I don't believe, because I don't believe in that at all. I'll go Dylan Cease. Okay. Um, he was sticking out to me a little bit. Where he is amongst, you know, gambling odds wise, he's around Lazardo, Montgomery, Justin Steele. Um, Dylan Cease, A, I believe in washing the White Sox off of you. Sure. I believe that's a real thing. Um, Dylan Cease has finished second in the Cy Young before. Um, and I, BBD saw like my, my Jake math kicking in a couple episodes ago. 
where I was furious, the year Dylan Cease finished second in the Cy Young, uh, do you know what he he led the AL in? Uh, strikeouts? Walks allowed. <laughs> like Snell, school. So in back-to-back years, Snell won the Cy Young, <laughs> allowing walks but not giving up the big hit. Right. The year before, Cease... Finished second to Justin Verlander, who had a one seven five ERA. Good luck, yeah. Um, Cease actually had more WAR because he had the innings pitched there. Right. Cease is a sneaky horse. San Diego, a sneaky great place to pitch. True, new division that has to see him. Um, just got traded. I, I don't know. I think Cease. If they said mix it up, we need something. The other one that kind of stood out that I was debating was Chris Sale. That's just, oh, that's more fun. That's just Brit. That's honestly there. that's a better click. Yeah, it's a better but click. I don't believe in it at all. No, I get that. You have at to all. believe into it uh, a little bit. I like that pick. Uh, you mentioned new division, new league for Dylan Cease. But right. a ton of NL teams just haven't seen him before. I think that's a big advantage for him. Um, this is a little bit wipe the White Sox, off. Jimmy O'Brien esque. I thought about him. I don't really like watching him pitch. Yeah. I, I don't really like watching Snell pitch. No. I can respect <laughs> the, the, the literal numbers. pitching isn't necessarily fun to watch. It's a numbers it's based discussion, hey. and C's has numbers. And I want to fade the fade on that a little bit. Pitch clock. Yeah. Like, I think I think those two, not just banging three balls every count, I, I do think it helps a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I'm in a, I'm almost pro walk. <laughs> I think walks, That's insane. I think walks in singles. Should be combined as one stat. On base? Percentage? Walks and hits, I guess. Well, no, because if you're giving up the big hit, I still care about that. I still really like a your walk in a single. That's a great stat. That's a great. I can't believe that's not a thing. Socials Kyle came at me with some Juan Pierre stats the other day. Yeah, he wants me to do a video on him. And I was like, give me this OPSS plus, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like his OPSS plus and OPS plus would probably be the largest disparity in like big league history. Right? Easily. I think nerds will tell you that the set we're asking for is what whip is, but like, can we combine them on like a per nine number or something? Because whip by itself is a weird Pierre number. Pierre got to caught stealing a lot. Casually. Pierre did get he caught. He got stealing. caught. He led the league and caught stealing. I was in a Carl Crawford rabbit hole this mm. morning. And it was like, we were like, eh. Hey. We didn't care. Just run. Just go. Put the pressure on him. Just go. Maybe fewer th- swipes a third. Do you have a uh, career home run guess on one, Pierre? I was just looking at it. I think it's like 17 or something. It's 18. I kind of yeah, wish wow. you, you were blind there. That's crazy. Um, it's nuts. They don't even let hitters do that anymore. I That's know. for another <laughs> day. Beebs, you got a you got a tight NL truth and flirty one? Yeah, the one that I like, you know, gun to my head and believe in that we haven't said yet. Uh, Zach Wheeler, he's getting a little bit removed from that year he debatably should have won it or had a, had a very strong argument but if he does a little bit of that again if this is the year the Phillies like either right there with the Braves for the division or win it he can get some he would get some storyline support there um he has the stuff to do it he puts in the innings to do it uh the the part about that that would concern me is if the Phillies have a year like that did did Nola do that too a little bit and mm-hmm. they might cannibalize each other but um but I don't think anybody would be shocked if you told me today, you told me today, Zach Wheeler wins a Cy Young at the end of this year. Sure. Um, couple options for a deeper cut. Don't love the deep cuts in the NL as much as I get jazzed about my AL deeper cuts, if mm. I'm being honest. But, uh, Scooble. The one, yeah, that's coming. Uh, the one that's kind of getting me right now, just looking at odds. Justin Steele top five last year feels weird to say him, but he has better odds than the guy that stuck out to me. It's just like, I think everybody's kind of said, whatever your glass now puts together his right. full year, yeah. he'll do very well in Cy Young voting. So I I like the idea of uh, believing in glass now, although his odds are nothing crazy uh, in, the, in the realm of picking awards if you're looking at DraftKings or anything like that. Right around Freddie and Free took him in the Cy Young draft. When it happens, it's going to happen. I didn't know we were playing safe on today's podcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Am I the only one taking shots here? What are you talking about? I like the AL. What are you it's talking crazy, about? Guys. Speaking of playing, why don't you get in the game with DraftKings? It's time for fans to head to the ballpark 
Root, root, root for the home team. Both New York teams for us. And new customers who bet $5 will get $150 in bonus bets instantly using our code BAKERS. Stay in on the action. Check out their same game parlays at DraftKings. Combine bets for a bigger payout. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code BAKERS. Bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code BAKERS only at the DraftKings Sports a book. Um, mm. I will try to keep it a, a little tidier. In in the AL, um, there's two and a half guys hanging around the favorite area. The sitcom? Gossman, Burns, Castillo. Um, I truly don't think there is a favorite in the AL. I, I think, yeah. kind of as BBD alluded to, there's a lot of guys that you could talk yourself into over some of these others. Like, I don't know. I think in the National League, if Spencer Strider puts down what's an average season for him, you know, it's going to be tough for a guy like Sonny Gray or you Darvish to, <laughs> to truly beat him. Right. But maybe that's why they play the games. Um, in the American League, I think it's wide open. I would take Burns gun to my head. I the Orioles ballpark, my God. Yeah. The same theory, like the hitters haven't seen Corbin Burns. It's a contract year. If you believe in any of that stuff, I I, I think he's the guy for me. It, if I'm going... Are you doing what I think you're going to do? Who do you think? You want my pick or who I think you're going to do? Who do you think I'm about to do? I think you're about to be a homer. What? For your sexy pick? Carlos? I think so. No, no I, you don't believe it? It ran through my head. Yeah? I, you okay. could talk me Thinking into it. Room. If I was doing a hit on Yes Network, yes. <laughs> um, why not? Uh, it says this one website is giving away plus 12500 on this guy. What? Man, it's a team that goes overlooked because they kind of just dipped on the season when they didn't have to. Oh. It's a vibe. Yeah. Tanner Bybee, I Good can't pick. believe the stats on his year last year. Um, and it kind of reminds, like, Bieber came out of nowhere, and their names are eerily similar. Mm. 25 starts, 142 innings, 141 strikeouts. So you got the K per nine there. He had a 298. In 25 starts. That's really good. So if you're looking for the guy to go from that 140 to 180, like, what if he gets better? Uh, you know, his FIP wasn't electric last year. I don't fully care. Um, I I don't know. The, for me, it's just, like, where the odds landed. That the fact that he's sitting with Shane Bieber, who he outpitched last year, he's sitting with Garrett Cole, <laughs> who, and this is them knowing that Cole is missing... Who knows how much time? Mm. Hunter Brown has similar odds, and Hunter Brown had a really tough stretch to end the year. Um, again, maybe not sexy for the click, but something different. No, I like that. That's a that's a little bit creative because he was really good. I'm we are believers in a sophomore slump. I'm curious to see yeah. how that goes, but I, I don't hate the pick at all. Um, my pick is based on appearance alone. Uh, okay. For my sexy pick, because it's a sexy man. It's a handsome man. Joe Ryan. It's Joe Ryan. Wow. Yeah, I think Joe Ryan has a, an interesting claim. Probably not to win the Cy Young, but to improve a lot this year. And it's I'm copping out a little bit. It's a lot of the same reasons uh, that I like Freddie. Because honestly, when I was researching Freddie, the name that kept popping up uh, right next to him, mm. besides Spencer Strider, was Joe Ryan. A little bit of a shorter guy, and that means that his fastball plays up a little bit. He's a vertical approach angle darling, meaning he throws at a lower plane, which means the fastball comes in straighter, so it looks like it's rising. Um, he's going to be in his third full season. Last year was kind of a tough year for him. Uh, a lot of ebbs and flows, a lot of ups and downs. He's another one of these positive regression guys. He, I think he was 15th highest BABIP last year in the American League at 305. Uh, he was top 10 home run to fly ball rate, similar to my other pick. So I like uh, his area for improvement. I also just like the Twins. I think that they're probably going to run back the AL Central this year. Uh, and I, I like the defense they got behind him, especially if they call up Brooks Lee. They have a solid infield with Royce and Correa and Lee in there as well. Uh, so I really like his odds there. And also, he's just a handsome fella, and he's got around the same odds as Bybee. So like, I like our picks here. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan's interest. Watching him pitch is interesting because, like you said, with that VAA. Yeah. 
Um, you know, the fastball sits 92 that you find yourself kind of being like, I don't, is Joe Ryan about to get hit? And <laughs> for the most part, he doesn't. Um, the oh, strikeouts uh, are there. Like My shoe in picks also burns. Should have okay. said that. Beeps? Ballpark. Yeah, I mean, Eberton? there's just a lot more Eberlino? fun guys over yeah. here. And I don't know what which of the two guys I like saying qualify as like you're a deep cut or the, or like a favorite because they're kind of becoming fashionable picks. Um, so, you know, I, I think I would go Scoobles just for kind of my pick. Okay. And I, and I like that. And, and I guess gray rods, the deeper cut, maybe it's the other way around. Is Scoobles the gun to your head? Oh, really? New girlfriend on the gram. You're both, oh, my God, stop torturing Save her. Me. <laughs> if I said I was there, that'd be irresponsible. Okay. Um, but, like, I, for whatever reason, have some blind faith in the Tigers just taking a step up this year, all the young guys getting better. I don't know. There's, hey, again, the top of the ale, there's no clear, and Scooble almost gets hurt from being on the Tigers because, let's be honest, we've all watched him actually pitch two one and a half times like i, you, I believe in like be real i believe in every name we would say on the mariners more but because there's like three of them i'm yeah. i'm gun shy on the on the mariners just to be to pick my mariner that is kind of crazy what? it's like so maybe the, the mariner in my head oh, is yeah. Luis castillo there's like five different guys and i just, you could and I just put some money run on. away and and scoobles my sexy was looking at uh but, you know even Bryce Miller, and he's thrown a split change with... Did you draft him yesterday? I did not. He was sitting on the board for a while, and I couldn't pull the trigger because I was like, if Bryce Miller's good, <laughs> then the Mariners are incredible, the Mariner. and the Mariners Pickle. just haven't been incredible. They've been um, good. Not incredible. Well... Gun to my head, I, I, I picked... Kiss, I wrote down Castillo. Okay. And Scooble's sexy. Hey, I but mean... the odds on Scooble are getting weird. Yeah, Scooble and Castillo are Too like many people are saying neck. it. Yeah. Too many people are saying it. It's gotten it. hot. It... it it's not fun anymore. It scared me now. It's a I've little been, bit. Saying it for a while on this name, program. It's a little Derek bit like Derek Tatis Lefty. MVP too. It's like too many people are saying it now. It's well, like, speaking yeah. of, and let's Ooh. stay in the American League for now. Okay. Let's hop over to MVP. Um, and you know, not, not all this is necessarily odds, but the odds do tend to lay out uh, in order. Um, and I'm kind of. This may surprise. Uh, actually, this guy is technically one of the favorites, and I've talked myself out of it a little bit, but I talked myself into it with one swing yesterday. I, if I'm being God to honest, I think God to honest. <laughs> what is that? Switch um, podcasting. I would take Julio. I, Whoa. The Yankees guys, I just feel like there's a cancel out effect. What? Yes, dude. I, it's what we just talked about, about with about the Mariners pitchers. Um, I don't know. Really? I think, I think Soto and Judge, if if things go to plan, I think there's a bump in heads there. Uh, I think it's Soto. Judge, there's some health stuff. Soto Soto doesn't have the MVP, right? No, he doesn't have one yet. And it's kind of been a minute since Juan Soto, I don't want to say it was incredible, but like was had, an yeah. had an MVP argument. Had an MVP argument. Um Julio, his biggest thing is like the first month and a half of the season. Yeah. So if he has a hot start, watch out. Um, and like we talked about, if Seattle is good, that factors into it. He's going to rack up war. Here we go. So you're saying all this. You need to let me put J-Rod in the top tier? I know, Charlie. What are I we know. doing? And now all the uh, tier people are mad. What are we doing? I just think safe bet-wise. Like, yeah. for my... My best argument against Julio is he hasn't been good in the first first half of the season. He hasn't been great in the yeah. first half of the season. That feels like it can change. Yeah. Um, that if that's my... I mean, Jordan stands out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Seager scares me. Bobby Witt, I just don't feel like the juice will be there. Um, that Yeah, I, I think gun to my head, Julio would be the bet. Uh, if I'm getting... Twisted Steel and Sex Appeal. Nice. Uh, if you'll allow Adley, I 
You can do it. I, I, I just, I, I think catchers, yeah, being out there, he'll rack up war. Good team. He's a unique catcher. If they win like a hundred games again, all the stats will come out. Like Adley Rushman is undefeated since he's been an Oriole. Um, <laughs> that that's my that's my AL. I like that. I'm I'm shocked you didn't say Juan Soto. Uh, I I do think it's him. You think he's the guy? Yeah. I, something about storyline. Something. Contract year. Yeah. You. So you. The way you spun it was like they're gonna eat each other a little bit. I actually think they're gonna help each other because they're yeah. gonna. You can't walk both of them every time you face them. You you have to pitch to one of them. So I think that like them being able to have more protection in their lineups will help them both. And like Soto, I think his defense will get helped out by Yankee Stadium a little bit. I think he's probably going to lead the league and walks again and probably add more home runs. He'll probably get to 40 if he plays the whole mm-hmm. season. Also, he plays the whole season, 162. Yeah. That matters. That's nice. Me. So I think it's kind of him until something happens. Makes him a reasonable bet, huh? Yeah. Um, but I'm going to stay quirky and sexy here. I'm, at, we're, yeah. I'm, I'm stealing third base, all right? I'm, I'm going for home, right? We're rounding the bases. Really? Yeah. I want to go crazy because... I just did 15 minutes on him, so excuse me. Uh, and I don't really like luxury cars. But I might be driving the Rolls Royce this year, Jake. I thought about it. Something about, about it. the clutch gene makes me really like Come Roy- on, Royce though. Lewis. It makes me really to like him. To win MVP? Am I getting clicks? Yes, I am. Jake. From Trevor. He was on pace hmm. for a 40 homer. 120 RBI season last year over a full 162. Obviously, he has to play the full 162, but he's a premium defense shortstop center fielder playing third base, which is huge for him. So he's racking up war there. He's got these insane runners and in scoring position stats. He's got lineup protection if the Twins are healthy and Buxton and Correa and all the outfielders they have. I like him a lot, and I think he's he's one of the few, like, Pure average, but also brings power to the dish kind of players left out there. I just need him to play the season. And I think his injuries have kind of been like freak injuries. Like the ACL yeah. twice is tough, and that's going to loom over him, I think, for you know the foreseeable future. But if I can get him out there for 150 games, I think he'll definitely get votes. I don't know if he'll win, but like I think he stands a pretty good shot. I love looking at guys minor league Stats just to see, and his minor league stats popped up 350 games, a 775 OPS. And I was yeah. like, okay, like that's Royce, that's crazy. Almost all of that is 2019 and earlier. Yeah. COVID, he's been hurt that since 2022, when he's been on a field anywhere, he's hit a lot. Yeah. And he's a 1 1 pick. So it's insane and like not real. Because he's played 70 big he's league games. He's played 70 big league games. And he's, does he have injury his Like, I don't, I'm not saying that. He's too young to do that. But. Also, one last thing. That's crazy. If he played the full season, he would have been the best fastball hitter in baseball better than Matt Olson. If he kept that pace. That's huge to me, too. Date my daughter, Royce. If you can't throw a heater to him, when are you going to throw? Biebs, Fave, and Dark Horse. Yeah. So, hmm. Hmm. So you guys took the two I was considering for a, for a favorite, so it's like, I'm going to just you can, gonna re- you run can it follow. back. Pick that's, which one that's you like That's the point more. of favorite. Yeah. Pick which one you like We more. might repeat. Like, I I feel like Judge has to do 62 again to, like, actually win MVP. So, so I, feel, I would feel weird just picking him to be different. I, I believe he can have an MVP-level season again, but just voter stuff, so... Uh, let's have fun and pick a guy that I'm going to watch every day in Soto. Nice. Sure. But I will say, if, if Jake hadn't said Julio, I'd say Julio right now. Uh, and I feel weird calling this guy a deeper cut because he's kind of always right there looking at, at the DraftKings sportsbook. Uh, the odds earn him to win are crazy if they have just like a surprisingly competitive season, which... The, the Cleveland Guardians franchise tends to always mm. do, and he's always oh. really good and stuff stat sheets everywhere. Just J Ram should get one at some point. Mm. Like if, if there's no runaway and he's right there and Cleveland's okay, like they're flirting with a wild card spot, it might just they might, the voters might collectively say, like, you know what, it's your turn. 
J Ram and Kyle Tucker have a bad case of the goods. And yeah. it's just like, hey, we're going to be really good, but it just feels like someone else is going to go nuts, whether that's Jordan, Bobby Witt, um, yeah. Trouter, Gladito. R- R- Ramirez doesn't have a teammate that I think will cannibalize him on his own True. team, which Jordan may. Jordan seems penciled in for some more DH at bats this Lord year, God, which I think would hurt an MVP case. Just thinking about going him, but. Roster resource hasn't penciled in for DH. They kind of have guys they want to mix into to the corner outfield spots that aren't him, uh, which makes sense. But if he's going to just stand in left field, even if it's bad, can I tell you something? I think that would that would improve his odds tremendously. I tell you something a little silly. The last yeah. two years, Jordan Alvarez has played two hundred forty nine games, missed a little bit of action. True, sure. two forty nine is good, right? I'd say so. He's one dotted. 179 OPS plus, 300 batting average, 407 on base, 599 slugging. <laughs> so he went 346 over two years. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I think. Where's this 40 homer season? <laughs> right? Where is it? Um, That's it's, absurd. It's with Soto's. <laughs> um, it's true. <laughs> Jordan is at fourth in the odds. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, J Ram. I love J Ram, and he's uh, he's gonna end up towards the top. It's yeah. He he would need a. Oh, I hope he gets one. It'd be cool. Short King. Short King. Like hmm. a legit short king. He might be. I it's want like a mean right hook. I want to do an un- position. I want to do an under five ten commercial with him. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hey, if you've got a favorite player in the AL, and again, you know, a lot. Oh, DraftKings gambling eBay. Um, <laughs> if you see, if you got a player you like, like. I would tell Zoe put two dollars on Devers, like Devers on him crazy. looks juicy, and he could he could go. Uh, Vladito, Mike Trout, you were Jolly was pushing that campaign around. I don't think futures bets are always worth it because they're always a small amount of money, and then you wait, and it's like, oh, at the end of the year, one of them hits. Never know. It's nice, Get a nice little nest egg. Can I ask like the like the awards? You, there, there is like you know how voting works if you pay attention to these right. things. Like, no, it's bizarre. I know too much about Adley Rushman. The kickoff. He tacked, tackled Christian McCaffrey. He spun around home plate when he made his debut. The Orioles are undefeated when he plays. <laughs> he's great. Jackson Holiday. I know his daddy. I know he's a number one prospect. I know he got married. I know he's got hair. I know he's he's, he lived in a batting cage. Whatever. Batting Who the cage? fuck is Gunnar Henderson? <laughs> the, the only fun fact I know about him is I don't want to share on... Okay. Into a mic. Nothing he did. Well, with that, <laughs> that brings us to... His Na- high school is in Alabama. National League MVP. And then we'll do some World Series predictions. Fun. High and tidy. I got lunch waiting and then... Oh, I got to order lunch. JJTV. You're welcome. Mm. The National League MVP. Uh, your favorites, Ronald Acuna, Mookie Betts, Shohei. And then you start leaking into Tatis Jr., mm. Bryce, Freddie... I was on the Fernando dial it back in. Yeah. Like he's playing defense and he's going to hit like him. Uh, my heart's a little, or I guess I'm trying to do honest to God money, noodles life on the line. Where <laughs> am I going? I don't think Ronnie runs it back. I don't know why really? I'm so skeptical of that. Do you just not believe in, I just think back? it's so hard to do that yeah. again. Yeah. Um, Mookie, Shohei. Um, I'm... Do it. Harper. Oh, okay. Full season yeah, of Bryce. Harper. Yeah, yeah. Like, I do think the Phillies... I don't know. Maybe those it's are crazy just, odds. Maybe it's just optimistic. And yeah, right? At Should those, I sprinkle? Like, right um, now? I think the Phillies are going to compete with the Braves yeah. this year. I, I think the Phillies have done everything. I think... They thought they were going to the World Series, and then they literally got snake bitten. Ooh. That I think the Phillies and Bryce full year of Bryce, yeah. and he's played some first base, and we're about that life. Um, that yeah, I mean the three Dodgers, I just can't. Like yeah. any of them can have a better year than each other, right. so I can't do that. Ronald running it back is tough, and Nando his stats last year sneaky, not incredible. Offensively, offensively, defensively, it was amazing. Um. That I don't know. Give me Bryce. Give me Philly. I I'll yeah. do that. And uh, I like that pick for you. Deep cut in the National League. No, no, <laughs> no. Um, 
How about this? I, I'll i fade myself in one, and maybe this is my clip for the networks. I would go Austin Riley. Yeah? I can't believe how good his number. I couldn't believe he was the S-tier third baseman. Yeah. But, like, he is. But he is. He is. Like, he definitely is. So if the Braves run it again and say Ronnie gets banged up for a month trying to steal 80 bases, yeah. a young, thick Austin Riley will be there. So that's that's where I'm looking. Where would you go, Chal? I mean, I was in disbelief by the amount of shit we got for putting Riley in us. Because he is the... I maintain that he's the best third baseman in baseball right now. He is. Like, All in. I've watched him play a ton. Like, he's there defensively now. And he's got that stick. And he's only 27. Like, he's only going to get better. Uh, like that pick for you. Like Thank a you. sneaky dark horse there. Like both your picks, honestly. Um, And that was weird. Yeah. Hell yeah. I think, like, my, my betting favorite is still Ronnie. Mm. Like... I got a little Braves-itis, but Ronald Acuna Jr. was just unbelievable last year. Every at-bat you watched, you, I, I was just tense because you feel like he's going to hit the ball. Yeah. Th- that ball that he hit off Emmett Sheehan last year mm-hmm. that went 120 to dead center and was out of the park in two seconds, best player in baseball. High ball. Like, that's insane. Um, so that's my gun to the head pick. I, I honestly would be surprised if you didn't go back to back because I do think the Dodgers are going to eat each other a little bit. But also line of protection. Yeah. Uh, who knows? My kooky pick? Mm. I'm going to be a little homer here. Francisco. Contract years. <sighs> they matter. It, it matters how you respond to them. I don't know that Pete Alonso is going to be a Met next year. I really don't. Just being honest. Me and good old Jerry Blevins have been begging the Mets to get a five hitter since 2019. Mm. We've been we begged for Kyle Schwarber. We mm. begged for an impact bat at the 22 deadline that we did not get. We have one. Guys just can't throw curveballs and sliders to Pete anymore because J.D. Martinez will be behind him. Who knows what kind of year he'll have, but there's somebody there. I think that, coupled with his ever-improving defense, which gets a little bit better every year, and the fact that he's got something to play for big time that's not just making the playoffs this year... I think he might go 50 again. I really sure. do. If he put, he's, You know he's going to play. He's out there every day with Lindor. I think he's going to get to where he was in 2019, and he's going to earn that contract that he wants so bad. Um, right now he's sitting at t- plus 2,500. That's worth a sprinkle in my opinion. Who knows if he's able to topple you know, the laundry list of great infielders that are in front of him right. in his own division and in the West. Um, but I think this is the first time in a while that the Mets are backing him up and he's got something serious to play for. So I like him as kind of a click on this kind of pick. If his homers start with a five and Ron Lacuna Jr. doesn't exist, sorry, Matt Olson. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there, there is a world. There's a way. Um, I'm, uh, I'm rooting for Pete this year. Like that. You're and a I, sneaky Pete they'll, guy. They'll sign him. They have to. I don't know. You can't let that amount. Feels like they have. You can't let that amount of guaranteed homers go. I know. You, you can't just, can't. just find that. You're the Mets. But like they. The Mets. I won't get into this. Okay. I, I can go. Go check out Shea Station. Uh, Biebs, what do you see? I'm also on Bryce as kind of a hey. favorite pick. I, I think having learned first base now and getting more comfortable, the numbers were liking him more defensively over there as it went on. Like he's he's good there. He's comfy. Uh, talked about this on our prop at talking baseball episode, but like the whole year we talked about how he wasn't really hitting homers and the late start and injuries. And he, and he still hit 21 homers uh, and looked like Bryce Harper come, come the playoffs or felt that way at least. Uh, so I think, I think the homers will be back a, a similar logic to the Wheeler where if, if this is the year Phillies at least very competitive mm-hmm. in their division, it's probably going to be a lot of Bryce Harper playing at an MVP level uh, along with some pitching stepping up. They, uh, Mitchell Robinson's playing tonight. Uh, and he's just a dude you don't really want to bet against. The odds are nice on there if you're playing that game of it. Jolly, I love what you said about Pete. Thanks, Juicy mm-hmm. return there. And gun to my head, I think he's a guy who, if he, you know, he's a guy who is capable of winning an MVP award if he gets, uh, you know, It'd be the 50 first. plus homers in there, 55 homers or so in there in a year. Uh, that would be interesting. I stall as I'm looking for the guy who I just told myself. Oh, I feel like last year with the playoffs might have been a Diamondback, Diamondbacks coming out party of sorts. 
uh, Corbin Carroll mm. sure. should be able to take a step up. He, he has MVP was another sprinkle I did in in our talking baseball app. Uh, he should only get better, or his over on homers. So he should hit some more homers. Um, take that next step. Diamondbacks are more competitive. They've added this offseason, including last night. Um, My first two fantasy picks there. Yeah. Wow. Corbin, Corbin Carroll, Carroll, Pete Alonso. I really wanted Corbin Carroll trade? yesterday. I, I'm going to trade Judge? with Joe's because Joe's took oh, two pitchers no. and I took 10. Um, I might reach out to DraftKings because I think something that baseball people should be able to bet on is. <laughs> What about Trout Harper run it back? <laughs> Just kind of a tribute year. That'd be awesome. Harper Harper going for his third, which Trout has three. Yeah. Trout fighting him off. That would be, you know, these are two guys I debated in high school how good they were gonna be. That if if they could do that, that would be fun. Um that would fellas, be fun. let's uh let's wrap it up with just the World Series. What you're thinking. I know um I don't know. It's it is an impossible ask. That's why, I, you know, my, my friend Jimmer Fredette isn't the biggest fan of predictions. Mm. Jimmer Fredette playing on the U.S. three-on-three Olympic no team. No way, by the really? Way. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of balling. That's right? confirmed. That's awesome. Um, World Series prediction. Jolly, you want it? <laughs> I always want it. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> Dodgers and Braves are the top of your list, but the NLDS is scary, mm. right? Yeah. It's hard to win a playoff series. Especially when, you know, you're there every year and you, you get that label attached to you. It's hard to shed it. Um, if I'm trying to protect my kin mm. and save the lives of the people that I love, I'd be foolish to not bet on the Houston Astros. Okay. It's just they're, they're going to be in the ALCS. Okay. You can count on that. You like their odds with one in four, right? Just basic whatever math. So I would pick the Astros. Even if you think that their lineup's a little weaker, Except Yiner Diaz is actually going to play every day this year, so that's mm-hmm. nice. Uh, it's just a safe pick. But if I'm going, click on me, click on me, click on me. Oh man, is it absolutely ludicrous to pick a team that didn't make the playoffs last year? No, no. Because then I would pick the Seattle Mariners. Yeah, because pitching wins championships, Jake. And yeah. we just talked about the fact that basically all five of their guys could probably get Cy Young votes this year. Like, that rotation is the deepest in baseball. I think it's the best in baseball. And I think we we were a little bit angry at first about how they handled their offense this offseason. I would still think the trade of Eugenio Soros was a little bit peculiar, especially because third base is kind of their biggest weakness. And Josh Rojas, sorry, man. Um, but I believe in J.P. Crawford. We talked mm. a lot about him on the shortstop tier list. I really, really, really liked the addition of Jorge Polanco. Get a switch hitter in the middle of your lineup. See what happens. Mitch Garver for twenty million is really nice. Like they ha- they have hitters. They that can go. Uh, I'm just curious to see where they are at the deadline. How much they decide to add, and if their pitching is all we're cracking it up to be. Because we know that Seattle is a good bullpen every year. Uh, give me them to at least make the playoffs and make some noise because they did that last time they got there. And who knows. Maybe this year is finally the year in the PCN. West gets tricky, man. Yeah. You know, one one of those teams missed the dance last year. Is Angels. one of them going to miss the dance this year? Um, I like it. I like it. BBD, what do you got? Yeah. Yeah, in the AL, it's always hard because there's, there's emotions. Sure. There's always emotions. I don't love. We talked about how much we we don't love where the Astros rotations at necessarily. Oh man, jeez, a lot of deliberation. I don't like. There's a lot of there's a lot of guys I can nitpick. I got guys DMing me their fantasy teams now. Yeah, yeah. Asked for that a little bit. Comments were tough. Tough. I mean, Astros season just begins in the ALCS, so that's just natural pick. Okay. The team that was just there can't really be a, be a deeper cut. The Yankees are never a deep cut pick. Any? Uh, no, I don't like that at all. Eeps. Thinking about the graphic? Eeps. So it's just like, a, is this the year the Blue Jays do it? Okay. That's a click. That's a click. That's a click. <laughs> I believe in their rotation to get to at least get you to to the playoffs and 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 hey maybe. Okay. I'd love them for them to add a, an impact lefty at the deadline. 
Sure, and I can I, find and I that. I think they might do that. Yuki Natsui. Um, okay, I think. I think real. I'm. I'm an Orioles Kool Aid guy. They just <laughs> have layers upon layers upon layers. They added Corbin Burns. We'll see if Radish comes back. Is this for the family? What's that? Is this to save your family? This yeah. Pick? Oh wow. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm not high on Houston. Wow. Seattle, I haven't seen them do anything. My Yanks are a toss-up. The Blue Jays haven't done anything. Not We've only gotten more scared about don't go. the Yankees. I'm, I'm an Orioles guy. I can't okay. believe they actually got Corbin Burns. It's nuts. And I don't think they're done. They, they have so more. many assets. At the deadline, they might get more. Um, it's wild. So I'm I'm in on them. And, I, Biebs, you were kind of fading this a little, and I'll let it lead into my NL. If I was doing a World Series matchup that I don't really believe in, but I think is kind of a click, I would run it back. Um, I think Rangers, mm. I think they're not looking as sexy, but they've got some top Their prospects. Low. They're getting some pitchers yeah. back towards midseason. They already showed that they're committed to winning. And my Snakes just kind of did the same thing. People wondered if the Snakes were going to get involved in this offseason. They got crazy involved, and they just did it again. So, um, I know, you know, running it back is almost near impossible in baseball. Um, but I don't know. If the Snakes make October, you're not going to want to see them. You think they care? Yeah. Um, in Texas, it's kind of the same potion. So, that would be my click. Um, in the NL, who I actually believe in, I'm, uh, it, it would be a Phillies year for me. I think, mm. I think they... I think they cannot believe they didn't go to the World <laughs> Series last year. They were th- two games in Philly. Do you think that they affects didn't? them, though? No, like, I think that makes them just... I, I think know. it turns their Philly up even more. Yeah, maybe. I, I think it turns their Philly up even more. What I'll say, because I like your picks, it's crazy. I think the Dimebacks had like the second best offseason, but also the second best in their division, which right. is mm-hmm. kind of funny. It's tough. Uh, it's a tough division. And like Philly, I... I, they did what they had to do this offseason, which is get Nola back and then lock up Wheeler. Don't let him get to free agency. But, like, I don't, they didn't. What about everything else? Right. Whit Merrifield? Like, they could have they added some ammo. Where? I don't know. <laughs> you all fu- dreamed a little about it. Was a the it was a big starting pitcher or nothing, and they basically said that. If you have good bodies, you'll find places for them to play. Also, bullpen. Like, you know, I kinda like they, lost Craig, bullpen. they lost Craig Kimbrell. They didn't like Craig Kemper. Good. But. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Orion Kirkery, oh, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, that was wild. What's everyone got in the NL? Let's wrap it up. Yeah, so I did, what did I do? I did Mariners in the AL, Astros. And now I'll, I'll quick fire this off. Um, I'll, I'll hop in your Phillies train. Why not? Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll save my family. Uh, they'll, beat, they'll beat the Braves again because that's how it goes. If they match up, they're going to win again. Because it's two is, you're too far gone. Uh, and then like fun pick in the NL. I mean, it's just such a wide field. It's such a wide field. Uh, give me the Giants. Okay, give me the Giants. Go crazy. Hey. You guys added a ton. Webb, Snell, Robbie Ray, Kyle Harrison. There's a formula. There's four good starters. If I'm using the same logic, it kind of applies there. Generation K. And their bullpen throws oh. more innings than anybody. Just hit. Camilo. Get get, fu- get nine guys with 15 home runs. That's what you do every year. October Doval. That's what I want. What do you mm. got, Biebs? Braves are kind of my bet Bet your life team. Not a lot of holes. It's a good the, one. They're, they're incredible. When we did their <laughs> TPP, their position by position, like OPS rankings it's were disgusting. just crazy it's everywhere. They've got everything. Kelnick. Their team that's proven they'll add. Stop. They'll let it go. They'll have they'll have their fun. So I'd I'd put them at the top. And I'll be honest, it feels weird joining you on the D backs train yes. to call them like a stretch. I think that would be the one I believe more. But maybe I've been talking all off season about just like Last year was just the weirdest year ever for the Cardinals. There's a Jolly Olive okay. video in two years coming about it. If they get <laughs> yeah. in, Got a little they're, their vets are vets. The Sneaky did hit last year. They're starting off hurt this year. Worst year ever last year. The doc writes itself. So, okay. worst of first. 
Their lineup can go. I hate their rotation. Victor Scott? The Yankees have acquired John Birdie. Let's go! That's a really good acquisition. Let's go! Speed and... Oh, That's a really good I acquisition. love it! Shorts. Um, Might be better than DJ. Okay. Um... <laughs> Jolly, yeah. thank you. Beeps, yeah. thank you. The other the other team that I just want to mention, if you're into some weird gambling, I've been fading them, so maybe this is just me defending myself for a clip in seven months. I don't know. The Cubs believe in something. No. And it's a baseball town, and they have all these top prospects that if something clicks and something trades, that formula can change, but I don't believe in that at all. <laughs> um, John Birdie! I almost believe in it. We're going to the ship. <laughs> Let's go, Yanks. Let's go, Jolly. Let's go, Beebs. Thank you. Subscribe. Baseball tomorrow. We're live streaming all day on Whoa. Jam Baseball. You guys are the best. Thank you for getting through the offseason with us. See you on Monday. John Birdie had more war than DJ LeMay last year.